Uh, so firstly, what are your names? What's your name, please? Uh, my name is Hussein Atamimi. I'm going into my second year at, for dentistry. Dentistry. What is your name? Uh, my name is Kara Latia. I'm also going into my second year at Bart. I'm Shanky. I'm a first year medical student. And... Yeah, my name is Omar. Omar, what's your name? I'm Zahra. Zahra, nice to meet you guys. So what course are you guys doing at Bart? So I'm doing dentistry. Dentistry. Third year medical student. Third year medical student. Okay, and, and you're yeah, in what year? Third year, third year. Yeah. okay, brilliant. Furhan, <laughs> Alejandro. Asad. Asad. Nice to meet you guys. So, what course are you guys doing at Bars and what year are you in? Uh, I'm a dental student. I'm in second year. Second year. Oh, okay. I'm doing BSc year one. Okay. Yeah, I'm a dental student second year as well. Okay. And those who are watching who don't know what BSc is, could you just clarify to people what course is that? So, I'm doing dental hygienist and therapist. Nice, nice. Okay. I'm Keisha. Keisha. No. And Norn. Okay, nice to meet you guys. Uh, so, what course and what year are you in for in Bars? Uh, so you're studying dentistry second year. Second year, okay. Dentistry second year. Yeah. Dentistry second year. I'm Safwan. Safwan, nice to meet you. My name's Rowan. Uh, I'm going to ask you a question about the uh, the life of the campus. Uh, could you tell me what course you're doing here at Bart? Uh, dentistry. Dentistry, okay. What year? Um, year one. So you, I'm going to year two now. Year one, lovely. And. Um, do you live out or have you been commuting to the campus? I've been commuting. Commuting, yeah? yeah. How far is the commute for you? It's around 45 minutes, 50 minutes. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. And has the Elizabeth line made it much better for you? Or no, not barely really. It's too south London, the travel there is not great. Really. Oh, I see, I see. Are you planning to live out anytime soon or are you have a um, comfortable commute? Maybe third year. I was thinking third, third, third year, year. half a bit of course, I am thinking I might do a year out. Yeah, I live out, um, so I'm from Birmingham, so oh, okay. obviously I have to live here, so I live in Stepney Green. In Stepney Green, so quite a local too, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you say it's a walking distance? Yeah, yeah about 10 minutes. Yeah, brilliant. And what about you? I travel uh, from home. home. You travel from uh, home? Yeah. How far is the commute? Yeah, about 40 minutes an hour. 40 minutes. Depends on the day, yeah. Uh, and has the new Elizabeth line helped you much there or no? No, not really. I don't take care. You don't take care? <laughs> fair enough. What about you, Asad? Uh, I live out with Bahan. Oh, you guys live yeah, together? Yeah, okay, yeah, fair yeah. enough. I'm like just outside London. So yeah, it's I like that. a 10 minute walk in Stepney. Okay. Banging. Um, I commute personally. Commute. What about you? Yeah, I commute as well. I live oh, London. fair play. Did you guys come together now? Uh, yeah, we did. Yeah? Where do you guys live? What part of London? So, uh, I'm Northwest. Northwest? I'm Southwest. Southwest, I hear that. And how is the commute to East London? It's quite a trek from the west side, I believe. Yeah, yeah. So, before, before the Elizabeth Line was built, um, it was really like a trek because mm -hmm. I'd have to take about like an hour and a half door to do but because the Elizabeth line has been built I can take the train from Paddington and yeah it's quite by like half an hour and is it the same case for you did Elizabeth, Ma Elizabeth line make a huge difference for you or no, not, not really, really? Elizabeth line didn't make like, a massive difference but I kept trying out different routes at the start of the year and I just found the quickest one so I've been living out at Oh, yeah. Okay, but just down there. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. How is it there? Um, it's great. It's great. Um, the environment is amazing. People are amazing. Um, definitely recommend living out for the first year. Um, and it's not very, but it makes the whole moving into life a lot easier. Definitely. And then, how is it? You know, reality versus expectations. Was it the way you expected it? Was it better, or was it a little bit different? Um, I think there's only so much you can expect medicine um, <laughs> but um, yeah it definitely met expectations and um, at some point exceeded expectations and it was a really good experience I really enjoyed it there were times where it was stressful but um, no I, I wouldn't I don't regret it. So I, I live out. Uh -huh. I live out just across the river, uh, Brother Hive. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. What about you? I live at home in Luton. Not oh. too far from me. Okay, how far is the commute? Uh, it takes about 35 minutes, 40 minutes. 35 minutes, 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 okay. Minutes far, yeah. And how is the Elizabeth line for you? Has it helped much or was it irrelevant to you? Uh, Elizabeth line is it's an interesting line. But yeah. I usually, I usually take Central Line. Okay. Uh, it's uh, um, Central Line, the district line, so I don't really think. Brilliant. Line. And have you been commuting the whole of your three years about? Oh, okay, I see. And what about you? Have you been living out every single year? Or? Yeah, oh, every okay. year. So I started in, uh, in halls, in Dawson, halls, Dawson Hall. Dawson Hall. How was uh, that? Tell me more about it. Yeah, no, I absolutely love Dawson Hall. Um, there's quite a few dentists there as well, so mm. it was good for me. I, I got to meet my some of the people in my course quite early through uh, the accommodation. Definitely. Yeah. Um, and that's actually a good thing, you know, if, if you're living out, you do get to meet some guys on your course. I see. Uh, before you actually go to the first lecture. Um, so yeah, no, but I really loved it. Yeah.
Yeah. Have you visited other, other halls as well? And what about you? Have you been to halls just visiting friends? No, or? So I visited Floyer House. Floyer House, uh, okay. It's, it's, a nice, it's a nice little, um, little accommodation. Yeah. Uh, there's a nice little community, people are all friends there. Uh, and um, yeah, the accommodation is pretty decent. I see. Does that make you a little bit jealous? Have you wished that you've lived that I or mean, no? Um, I did wish, I mean, it would have been <laughs> quite good to live up, but obviously um, living so close, it, would have made, it just makes sense to just come in from home. Okay, yeah, there, but definitely. Like, but the accommodation is def definitely good. Okay. And what about you, Omar? So you've been living out three years, you've mentioned. Yeah. Is it because you, you're you're away from London or what's yeah, the situation for you? So I live I live in Reading, oh, which okay. isn't too far. Like I could commute, but it would take about an hour and a half, oh. and it's just just a bit too long. Mm. So I thought, yeah, better live out. And also, yeah, like you say, it's a different experience, isn't it? So, Definitely. Um, I'm glad I lived out. Um, Commuting could have happened, but I didn't fancy it. I see. And what, so, on, so you've been commuting. Would you say that affected your social life? Have you been much in campus? Have you been meeting up, meeting up with friends around Whitechapel? How is the situation there for you? So uh, the first year was, um, I mean, the commuting didn't really affect the social life at all. Okay. I was in every day. Then COVID hit for second year. We were at home most of the time, online, mm. online uni. Uh, and the third year, I mean, I don't think there's been a difference. If I lived away and lived at home, I don't think it would have made, made such an impact on my social life. It's been, um, it's been quite good. Yeah. I see. And Amal, what about you? Would you say living out made a huge difference for your social life at uni, or yeah, what would I, you say? I would say it has because mm. being here, it just means meeting up with everybody is a lot easier. Definitely. Yeah. So it, you know, I don't have to kind of. You know, I don't have to plan my day so that, oh, I need to, if I was commuting, I'd just stay at Whitechapel for like X many hours. Mm. I can just go home and come back out. You know, it's quite easy, flexible. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so I would say it has, I would say it's beneficial to, to okay. my social life, yeah. Do you guys commute or have you been living out? Recently, uh, I live out. I also lived out last year. So. Lived out last year. Okay. What about you, Ria? Yeah, same. So I live out now. I lived out last year as well. Oh, okay. What about you, now? I've been commuting for the past two years. Mm. I see. How is the commute from home? Um, How far is it? For me, it's an hour because I live just outside. Oh wow! Fair so, enough. Uh, it's a bit long, but you get used to it after a while. I see. And have, has the Elizabeth, has the Elizabeth line helped you much or not uh, really? Yeah, it has. I think it's only reduced my journey by like five minutes. By five minutes. Fair enough. Uh, and you mentioned you've lived out last year as well, so yeah. have you been? Have you guys been in halls? In yeah, student hall? so I lived in Dawson. You lived in Dawson, yeah. okay. What about you, Kisha? We were in Floyer, okay. So, which one is better, Floyer or Dawson? I Dawson, Dawson. Right, Dawson is no, so much it's better. It's okay. okay, why do you think Floyer is better? Because it's just right here and Dawson yeah. is far away. Yeah, so for people who don't know, Floyer is literally next to the hospital. So, where all your teaching happens and where the parent lecture theatre is, so it's quite a local walking distance to everything. Dawson, on the other hand, is more towards central it's London. A more Scenic, um, yeah, area. it's more posh, would yeah. you say, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Do you, have you guys joined any societies at Bart or QM? How's that going for you? Yeah, so yeah? obviously I joined the football society, I joined the uh, Paxoc, and uh, obviously Densoc as well. Densoc. I've been enjoy enjoying them quite a bit as well, and ISOC as well. Oh, ISOC. Been quite good, yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, haven't. You haven't joined any societies? Fair enough. How, how come? Is there a particular reason why I haven't joined? Just been busy at work. Busy at work, okay. Yeah. Have, you done, have you gone to any taster sessions for any societies? No, no, not really. What about yeah. you, Asad? Yeah, just the same as him, pretty same much. As Bahan. But make sure you join Densoc. Densoc, yeah, okay. Join Densoc <laughs> and uh, buy the subscription as well. Yeah. Okay. Um, how would you say sort of the social life here at Bart's? Any student activities you've been involved in? As cheesy as it sounds, yeah. Bart's is like a. It's like a family in it. Everyone in all the years. Oh, definitely. That's quite key. That is, yeah. It's very nice, and it's very, it's a nice culture around it. Yeah. 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 Socially as well, everyone's decently active. Everyone's nice. You know, I see. They like to have fun. Um, I was part of the uh, drama. Oh, okay. So I was in the pantomime, and um, I also am part of the sports team, so I do lacrosse, um, and so there's the uh, with angels, and just a lot of ways to wind down. Um, which I was really happy with the experience. Yeah, definitely. So that's a lot of society. Did you join them, you know, from day one or did you sort of find out I like them um, there and join So I I joined the sports team from day one. Oh, okay. Always been interested in drama. I did a lot of that sort of stuff. So it's nice to see that someone got me into the panto. So and I really enjoyed it. That's experience. So definitely. So tell me more about the drama. Did you end up doing a play or any acting, any project you guys worked on? Yeah. Or so was we it did. Casual? So it was casual at times, but we did um, this, uh, the pantomime. So this year it was the Princess Bride. 
uh, which okay. was really fun. Yeah. So I got to know a lot of people, not just from my year, but from other years as well, which um, has shown to be very useful um, in all aspects. Settling in whilst living out is daunting sometimes, so it's it's good to have people that you know have gone through that as well. So yeah, to give you the advice, like, yeah. Um, personally, I haven't gone to that many societies, but I know a lot of friends that have. So there's a lot of sports societies that we have: boxing, uh, football, basketball, hockey. The list goes on. And hopefully next year I'll try to get involved. Brilliant. What about you, Karal? Any societies you've been to? Yeah, I mean, I'm the same as the same. And we're both part of uh, Iraqi society as well. So looking at um, oh, sort okay. of cultural and maybe there are a lot of other religious societies as well you can take part in. So. There's so many different options that you I can see. sort of join multiple different And would you say, you know, obviously the effect of COVID was way more drastic the year before you guys, but has it had uh, any big effects on your events in terms of the societies or social events, or do you think it's negligible? No, I have to personally, I haven't, I haven't noticed yeah. the difference. Okay, because that's like, good. Um, all the societies, they seem to be running, they seem to be like looking at uh, venues and things like that. Like, I haven't encountered any issues. Mm. Yeah, same. I think at the start of the year maybe it was slightly difficult because everyone was sort of recovering from the Covid year but mm. towards the end of the year things were sort of picking up and... Uh, yeah. is, is he the BDS2 rep? Yeah, okay, <laughs> inshallah, in yeah. So, so what, what, what inspired you to go for that role? Um, well, I saw the BDS1 reps um, pushing off the here. They, they, um, they did a really good job. Um, mm. And just being able to uh, be to talk to teachers and help our year group as well. Yeah. Um, just sort of be on the dental committee as well. To that's it. So we're going to be working together then. Mashallah. Okay. That's it. What about you, Hassan? Are you in the going to be in the committee <laughs> next, next year? year. <laughs> next year. <laughs> before before he graduates, he's going to be in the committee. Inshallah. Um, uh, what, what about outside Barts? Maybe any societies outside Barts or any activities you do in London? Anything interesting you would want to mention to the newcomers? So I think there's a lot of uh, societies, like for like cultural societies mm. that are catered towards medical and dental students. Okay, yeah. So one example is Sisima, which is the Student Iraqi Medical Association, which we're both part of. And ah. there's, there's there's medical societies like that mm. for like a lot of different ethnicities, so Pakistan, different cultures. Yeah, isn't it? yeah. The Pakistani, Iranian, mm. all of those. Yeah. In first year, I joined Indian Society, and yeah. then I joined the committee this year. Um, I also do dance talk as well. Dance talk, okay. Um, so yeah, Indian talk, uh, dance talk, obviously. Definitely, and um, yeah. I joined badminton this year as well. Like badminton, okay. And what about you, Noah? Um, uh, in the beginning, it was like I joined ice sock, but then this year. Uh, I got more involved with Iraqi society and Arab sock at QM. Oh, okay. And next year I plan to get more involved with Densok. Yeah, I remember I've interviewed a couple of people before you guys and they mentioned Sima as well. Are you yeah, part of Sima? Sima? Is a, uh, I'm not on the committee, okay. but it's an external society that like provide events and uh, other like things for dental medical students. So it's a really good opportunity to yeah. learn these things. Definitely. So what advice would you give people about society? Should they join? How should they go about it? Especially when they come they come in and there's so many societies, there's so many options. What is the strategy there for you, you would recommend? What strategy should they take? Whatever you're interested yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, I go see. to the things that you're interested in, go to all those taste days. Yeah. Oh, and definitely. Then obviously that will give you more of an insight into mm -hmm. what the society is. And yeah. Join. Absolutely. And you've mentioned you've done, for sports, you've done badminton. Yeah. Uh, when did you join that? Was it this year? Or yeah, I joined beginning of this, this year. year. And how is that going for you? Uh, yeah, it was good. It was nice to meet like new people because it was QM and... Bars, Bars isn't mix. it? Yeah. So obviously, like, obviously people from QM and then different years and stuff. So it was mm. Do you think it has affected your sort of revision schedule? Because it made it, uh, you, no, you know, your schedule busier or was Saturday. it calm? It was every yeah, Saturday, it was okay. Kind of nice break. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, was, I did so, a couple of dance soccer events. Oh, okay. Quite fun. So yeah. You, when you same course. Absolutely. And because it was during COVID as well. Mm. So we're just coming out of a COVID period. Um, a lot of people um, didn't were living at home as well. So those events, you get, you get to meet more people on your course and just people you kind of see around uni. So it does help break the ice at the beginning. Absolutely. And what about sports societies and, or volunteering? Anything you've been involved in? I did squash. Into? I did squash for a bit. Oh, okay. Uh, then at the beginning of the year, towards the end of the year, I started playing with my friends, just mm. more for fun, which is quite Absolutely, fun. yeah. Uh, because the thing with, with squash society, they moved to Redbridge, just part of my island. Oh, so it was okay. a bit, bit far for me, but 
we do play a mile end, which is good. Okay, brilliant. So I've uh, I've been involved with the with the football uh, football, football society. Oh, okay. First year. Brilliant. Um, I also I also have been obviously part of Densoc. Look at Densoc, yeah, yeah. Dent society, and I think that's a must if you're if you're a dentist. I think it's um it, it brings the social aspect of dentistry uh, along yeah. with the the actual uh, academic side. Uh, those are my two main ones, and also the ISOC, uh, the ISOC. Islamic Society. I think yeah. that's, uh, that's been a really good, um, uh, you know, really good community there. And how how did the journey started for you? I guess in the first year, did you sign up to multiple societies and then you cut down a little bit, or has has these three been your main one ever since? Yeah, to be fair, I think it was easy to get kind of overwhelmed by how many societies Definitely, there are. Definitely, yeah. And I think at the start, I was kind of lost as to, you know, it's more like how do they work? You know, can I commit and not commit? How committed mm. do I have to be to each one? Can I put my eggs in all these baskets? baskets yeah, you know I mean? yeah. But, but realistically, I, I learned over time, like especially now that you can literally do a bit here, do a bit there, do, and that's what I would recommend, um, you know. I think it's important to have different opportunities. Definitely, yeah. absolutely. And what about you, Zahra? And how is the society situation for you? Um, so I've been part of a mental health society called Open Minds. Oh, okay. For the two years. So what we do is we just go out to local primary schools um, and oh, just wow. educate the children on mental mm. health issues. Okay. Uh, and to be honest, I um, was going to sign up for it, but then the people they they changed my mind, and then mm. I found that it's quite interesting society to be part of. Brilliant. Um, and also, I've been part of ISO quite heavily as well, mm. uh, and uh, taking up some society positions next year as well. But um, I would recommend just signing up to as many societies as you can and just whittling it down, uh, see which one uh, suits you uh, and take it from there. I see. Yeah. Brilliant. What about here on the campus? Have you guys spent like good time on the campus? Any restaurants you recommend? Any places you recommend to go to? Um, so personally for me, I find Andy's Banging Burgers near Mile End. Yeah. That's really what, what's your favourite meal from there? Um, I usually get the grilled chicken, I can't lie. Yeah. The grilled chicken. It's a bit dry though. It's a bit dry. I prefer the burgers. I prefer the burgers. Yeah, grilled chicken burger. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Fair grilled enough. Chicken burger, yeah. That's good. What about you, Kara? Any, yeah, any places? It sort of depends on my mood, really. But I think <laughs> Ottoman donna is quite good. Ottoman uh, donna, yeah. If you want like, uh, like some good quality, like, substantial meal. It's mm. expensive though. Just got it's like, <laughs> but if you want something cheaper and like easy, white chocolate fried chicken receives mixed reviews. But if you're really hungry, <laughs> go to white chocolate fried chicken. <laughs> fair enough. And, and then, you know, to, to, especially to those who haven't been to East London or to, to Whitechapel specifically, how accessible, you know, restaurants or fun activities are in here? Would you sort of give them an idea? Would they have to travel far or is everything local and convenient? Um, no, I think no. I think everything like, especially our comfort spots, like a lot of, we have a lot of restaurants like the high streets right there. Like, mm. We have a lot of restaurants that you can easily walk to and even like down there there's loads of restaurants. So everything's within walking distance. Like I wouldn't say you have to like trek to go to somewhere nice to eat. Brilliant. Even for, for me, I'd never actually been to Whitechapel before uni. My, oh, first, okay. my first day at uni was my first day in Whitechapel. <laughs> but um, especially if, um, if for example, so I'm from a uh, Muslim uh, background. background yeah. so, for me, there's loads of halal options here. Yeah. Westfield Stratford is where we do some of our clinics as well. That's got loads of uh, places as well to, if you want uh, shopping or, or to eat. So mm. there's there's loads of options, and you're not that far from central London either. Hi. So um, there's Brick Lane, not too far from yeah. here, which offers so much. Whether you're into thrift store shopping, like I am, so I do go there from time to time. Um, they have the best curry places, I think. Um, Whitechapel is especially because I've got the curries. Um, and um, it's quite useful that there is a McDonald's two minutes away from the foyer. So, yeah. midnight Mackey's whilst revising is always is a must. So, <laughs> yeah. So, in Whitechapel, you've got good transport links, so we do tend to go out a lot. Mm. But uh, I, I do like Andy's Burgers in Mile End. Okay. Because you get 10% off as a student as well, which is I quite see. helpful. I see. Now, you're saying it's Mile End, although it's a different uh, place, but how far, how accessible is that? How far is it from the campus? Would it's very you say easy. Walking distance, or would people have to take? Walking distance, you, I, I walk it's like 50 minutes. Okay. You can also, you, you can also take a bus. Take which a bus. Is fine. Absolutely, yeah. But because you live in Dawson, how would you describe sort of the um, the accessibility? I don't know, like restaurants or any social places. Was it around the corner from Dawson, or do you have to travel far from there? Because uh, it was in East Central London, in it, like it's. Um, it's quite hard to get all these foods, like obviously compared to like Whitechapel where the whole high street's full of like chicken shops. Yeah. yeah it's, mm. it's not like that in, uh, in Dawson, but up, 
can just do burritos as well. Definitely. Yeah, Tinsu Town is nice. Yeah. But other than that, yeah. He's, he's the man for that. He's the man yeah, for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the, okay. The best lamb shack you'll ever taste. Yeah. 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 Massive portions, take your friends down. It's the best place to go. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. And, and uh, tell me more about your course. So I know the dental hospital is right here in Whitechapel. Mm. Any other sort of clinical areas you go to any other than Whitechapel? Tell me yeah, more about yeah. that. So obviously a lot of the teaching happens like you say here. Mm -hmm. um, but we also go to uh, this centre called the Gutman. Gutman, the Gutman okay. Sir Ludwig Gutman Centre. Okay. And where is uh, that? Stratford. In Stratford, Stratford, Stratford okay, yeah. yeah. So we see patients there in third year. Mm -hmm. um, I think in fourth year you start, you, you'd go to another place uh, okay. instead of Gutman. Uh, you go to Canary Wharf. It's somewhere. It's called Barkentine. Barkentine, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So there's uh, those are the two main kind of places yeah. where you see patients, yeah. and the teaching happens here. I see. So you've mentioned Whitechapel, mm. Canary Wharf, and Stratford, yes. isn't it? So it's quite in the east. Yeah, area, yeah, east yeah. London. Is yeah. it similar for you guys, medics? How is that for you? So for medics, in the first, first and second years, you're in Whitechapel, uh, in Myland as well for anatomy sessions, and for clinical skills, we have a centre in uh, St Paul's, mm. in Robin Brook. Uh, and then in third year, you're, you're off for placement. You get to choose which hospitals you want to go to. Oh, wow. And it's quite a big change from second year. Uh, and it's a nice change as well. Uh, after learning all the theory, you get to practice all of that stuff mm. in hospitals. Uh, so it's a brilliant it's a brilliant change. Yeah. Um, it's been structured quite well. Okay. Because you learn a lot about uh, oral anatomy. And it's quite interesting in that sense because you are doing a dental course. Yeah. And the lab, lab sessions, sorry, the clinical sessions we have, have been effective because it is quite fun seeing the equipment for the first time. And it just... Uh, just get you used to that um, environment as well. Absolutely. And and then how often do you guys come on a weekly basis as first years? Is it busy for you or do you think most of the time, most of, the, most of your week is, is not on campus? What would you say? So, so most of our lectures have been online. So like, I would okay. say about 90% of them have been online mm. this year. So there's not really that much incentive to come on campus. Mm. The only time we are coming on campus is for like the lectures, for example, uh, lectures and clinics. Okay. Yeah, so we've had about eight clinics Next this year, um, so we and they're, they're in different centres. So we have one in the dental hospital, we have one in Barkentine, mm. and we have one uh, in Canary Wharf. Canary Wharf. Okay, and um, it's kind of your choice as well, though. So sometimes some people find it easier to study in the library or yeah, the garage, which is just uh, sort of empty classrooms. Mm. So some people, like for me, for example. I work at home good sometimes, but other times I might prefer to work, uh, like I, I feel like I'm in uni working, so yeah. it's your choice as well, there's a degree of freedom that you don't really get in second year. Yeah. I think it's just a lot easier if you're like living on campus to like use use the facilities, so facilities yeah. Yeah. like uh, Kara mentioned, the garage and the library. the library, if you're commuting it might be a bit more difficult. I see, and so you mentioned you come to the library, do you usually do it so individually? in a silent space or do you come with groups and sort of socialize after? Tell me more about it. I, I tried uh, a mixture of everything to see mm, what works okay. for me and I think dentistry, especially first year, uh, when you're trying to revise for exams or OSCEs or any sort of assessments you have, group revision sort of works best for me. So I might arrange to come here with friends and then we all revise together and after maybe go out for a meal or, or go to the BLSA and uh, sort of make it a whole. All right guys, one last question. Any advice for the newcomers? Any, it could be general advice, academic advice, social advice, anything you think you wish you knew and you've only learned it the hard way. Hmm. It's a tough question, but mm. it's true. It's probably the most important one. Um, I would say for me personally, if ever you're in a, a position where you kind of don't know what to do or you're a bit confused about anything, whether it's societies, academically, uh, you know, socially, I think it's important to just ask somebody and mm. make sure you kind of build those open kind of open conversations with people yeah. because that's the only way you're going to learn and get yourself out of those positions mm. um, and I think people are very eager to help at this uni it's one of the main reasons I chose this uni actually. yeah yeah definitely yeah. I must agree I think Amar brought a good point there's a lot of like schemes such as mummies and daddy schemes mm. where you get to know people in the year above and they sort of yeah. mentor you when you're struggling so Definitely sign up to these schemes and even if you don't, if you miss out on these schemes, there's always someone in the year above Absolutely. that is willing to offer the help. Yeah. So just take the chance and be uh, yeah. open about it. What about you Zahran, any advice? Um, again, just uh, medical school, dental school is tough. Mm. Uh, it's easy to start, you know, feeling like you're drowning or doing the work. Uh, your mental health is the most important thing. Uh, if you think your mental health is suffering, you know, take a step back. Uh, always talk to your friends, talk to your mentors. 
um, people are there to help you. Um, we understand Queen what Umar said. It's just, you know, make sure you reach out for help. Um, I would say work as you go because okay. it does help out mm -hmm. and if you do work as you go you can enjoy your social life as well mm. because as a first year you do have time off mm. as well from away from lectures so in that, in, those, um, in that time you want to make the most of it by getting people, getting used to the people in your course, getting to know them because mm. you are with them for five years so it's good to have a good set of friends and it makes your whole university experience much more enjoyable. Oh yes, absolutely, definitely. Thank you so much for your time Safwan. Uh, what are you up to now? I'm going to play some squash now. Oh, is it? Okay, brilliant. All right, take care. Yeah, I'll right, see you soon. Care. Yeah. When you first join, like first year, you'll find that like there's a lot of content mm -hmm. and it can get overwhelming. And you find that for me, especially at the start, like I was spending all my time making flashcards and not really like understanding the content as much. Mm. So I'd recommend that you um, try use flashcards that have already been made for you by people in the years above. Okay. Most likely they're probably going to be better than the ones that you uh, that you're making because they're like passed on generationally. But and also. <laughs> Um, you can dedicate more of your time to understanding the content rather than like just memorizing everything, which I think is more important, especially for first year. Yeah, self behind. I'll just say, uh, be yourself in it. Be yourself. Okay. How about you, Alejandro? I would say for the new cohort, guys, don't stress out too much. You're gonna fall behind on lectures, but you guys are gonna go through it at some point. Um, it's quite hard at the beginning, as mm. I say, especially if you haven't done, done Tanorsen before. But everyone is here for help. If you need any help or anything, I'll be in second year. All second year students are, we are all more than welcome to help you guys. And I guess we are any dental student as well. So just be yourself. Enjoy the journey because it's gonna be tough, but you will enjoy it as well. Definitely. So if you need any help, Alejandro is offering here, yeah? What about you, Asad? <laughs> Just, just enjoy it, innit? It's like, yeah. you're at uni, whatever. First year is more relaxed than other years. Exactly. Years just yeah. Enjoy it, have your time, be yourself. Make the most yeah. out of it, isn't it? Make the most out of your time, yeah. If you need any help. Yeah. If you need any help, just go to Assad. <laughs> <laughs> Come to me. <laughs> yeah. I'd say don't be shy, because mm. everyone's coming in new. Everyone wants to like make new friends and meet new people. So just like, you know, be confident and be yourself. Yeah, go to all the events, like join in and everything. Yeah, like take yeah. every opportunity, like academic and social as well. Because obviously you have to create that balance. Yeah. So yeah. Getting to know people through society is about to be out. Um, academically, um, there's always there's going to be challenges. I think yeah, I think the first thing you have to tackle is to yourself that is that medicine isn't easy, and to like not be so hard on yourself, um, and just like enjoy like the small successes and just keep working. I'd say don't sort of be scared to throw yourself into mm. lots of different societies and communities because myself included I think a lot of people are sort of they're hesitant to make that jump from A-level to university because you know you're commuting further or you're living out um, so don't be scared to, to sign up so for me I signed up to lots of societies and in the end I only probably stuck with a couple but the, the fact is that you know I, I tried a bunch of different societies and then you sort of get a taste and experience of the yeah. communities as well. How, how many societies did you sign up to initially and then how much did you commit to time? Because, I mean, for me, I remember with my first year, I did sign up to many things uh, just to try them like you've mentioned, but I've only continued with about less than half of them later on. Yeah, Is it the same for you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Tell us more I, I about it. Up, I went to a lot of taste sessions, especially sports. Mm. Because uh, the more societies you sign up for, the more the times clash. So you yeah. have to make sure you have time for societies, but also time you know, for yourself, for your studies, for your family and other things as well. Okay. So um, I think I signed up to uh, probably a, a few dozen. A few dozen, okay, yeah. And, uh, same I, only, I only stuck with like half a dozen maybe. Okay. So, um, Please let me go. Did you press it or did you press the cord? Yes, on me. Okay. Uh, All right, one, two, three, hello guys. Action. Okay. <laughs> Am I in it? <laughs> Are we all in Is it recording or no? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hello, hi, Sofana. <laughs> nah. <No. laughs> Wait, also, now look at the camera, look at <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> okay. Um, Are you getting a line straight line like this? Oh, my days. 
Bro, what do you do? Guys, I, I knew. It's not a formal what interview. What are you doing, man? It's 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 it doesn't matter. Just be a bit chill. Yeah, yeah, be chill. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you move up a little bit. No, why, why am I like... No, you stand there, it's him. You do know I'm talking to them. I'm not getting interviewed. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Wait, just do it again. No, 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 just do it. Is it going? Is it working now? It's been going for okay. five minutes. No, we should have done though. We should have done it as in like inside. We can't, we don't have permission. What? Oh, Are we not in it? Be yourself. Oh, you should have come up with it. Why would you say that? What's the good for? I'll just say changing loads of society. Yeah, like don't be shy. That's my advice. Don't be out the be yourself. Can I also have your bag? What course are you doing in bags? What year are you? First year. Hey, you gonna give me a whole Okay. Give me a summary of what's gonna happen. Okay, your name, your course, what year? Uh, I'm a dentist, a uh, dentist student, and uh, um, uh, Okay, what were you I'm doing? I'm BSc <laughs> no, bro, one first year. <laughs> bro, I'm gonna edit it, I'm gonna edit it, stop being long. Oh, I'm a dentist student. I can, I can, I can, I'm gonna edit it. You can focus on understanding. I read, 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 read. Okay. Uh, no, just answer that question, because they came after. Just answer, like, uh, just repeat, so, right. answer again. Okay, so.